Good morning, it's uh, Steve Hartnell here uh, from The Free, and it's my privilege to bring this morning's thought for the day. In 1966, uh, when I was still 17, I decided to join the Territorial Army and I joined a parachute unit uh, because I was frightened of heights. Um, sounds bonkers, doesn't it? But I thought if I can, if I can uh, jump out of an aircraft, then I'll overcome my fear of heights. I couldn't even jump out off the top board at the swimming pool. So I thought, well, this will be helpful. And so I did all the, 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 the pre things that you have to do. I went down to order shot on weekend after weekend after weekend, doing the marches, the log race, the gymnasium, the, the, uh, the parachute assault course and passed all of that. And so in March, 1966, I was going on my parachute course. I was supposed to go with two friends, but one unfortunately broke his arm and the other one was found to be colorblind. He couldn't differentiate between red and green, which isn't helpful when you're standing in the door of an aircraft and the first light comes on is red um, and the second is green, which is, means go. And if you go on the red, well, that's not what they want you to do. And so it was the first week we did all the training and the second week I got up in the aircraft, a little bit apprehensive, but I wasn't frightened. And so when the red light went on, I stood in the door, the green light went on and I jumped out. And although I was apprehensive, I knew all the things that I had to do. I looked up, my parachute canopy was good. I looked down, I got my legs together, my elbows together, and I jumped and fell and landed safely. And so then we did a, another seven jumps that week. And so I came home proudly with the wings uh, sewn on my uniform. So that's one kind of fear. Uh, we have fears and phobias, don't we, about different things. But what does it mean to fear the Lord? Um, part of the answer lies in Proverbs 9, um, 9 verse 10, which says this, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Almost the opposite of, of wisdom overcomes fear. There, here, you, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And it goes on to say, and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. And so the more we know about God, the more we understand who he is, uh, the more we come to into a better relationship with it, with the intimacy of God. Um, in, in the beginning of John, it says that Jesus is the word of God. And so to understand who God is, we need to understand who Jesus is. And he, for us, was the perfect, um, the perfect example of how to live uh, a holy life. And so we try, don't we? We try to do our best to lead this holy life. And we fail often, but the grace of God, if we come and humble ourselves and ask for forgiveness, then we can start again. It's not an excuse, of course, to continue to do things wrong, um, but it's, all, it, it's helpful in order to keep, keep us doing the things that, that are good. One of the most uh, frightening verses in the Bible for me is uh, Matthew 7, uh, 21 to 23 and this is the message version it says knowing the correct password in other words saying master master for instance isn't going to get you anywhere with me what is required is serious obedience doing what my father wills i can see it now at the final judgment thousands strutting up to me and saying master we preached the message we bashed the demons our god sponsored projects had everyone talking and do you know what I am going to say? You missed the boat. All you did was use me to make yourselves important. You don't impress me one bit. You're out of here. Fright frightening words, aren't they? We think that we're doing the best we can. We, that we do more and more, um, not in a legalistic way that God would love us, but we do it because he loves us. We try and do more and more. And so for me, the, the, the fear of God is understanding who he is and what my relationship to him and what my response is to him loving me, that he is the, the almighty, the all conquering one, the king of kings and the Lord of lords. And yet he chooses to have a relationship with me. He partners with me when I tie into the Holy Spirit and use the spirit of God in the things that he's caused me to do. I'm in partnership with him. And so the fear for me is the fear of not of him not recognizing me on that day when I when I get to heaven. In 1 John uh, 4, 18 to 19, it says this. There is no fear in love, 
But perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made in perfect love. We love because he first loved us. And so for me, the fear of God is loving him, is knowing that he loves me and that my job, my life is to honour him in all the things that I can. And in all the things I can, I try and worship him. I fail often, but I get back up again and ask for his forgiveness. And I know deep down inside that I am forgiven. I'm no longer a slave to fear, for I am a child of God. Thank you.